Hey there guys and welcome back to another video. In today's video we'll be doing an unboxing and quick look at this Dell desktop and I purchased this from Dell Outlet. So if you don't know about Dell Outlet, they sell refurbished and scratch and dent desktops, laptops, and monitors. Usually have some coupons where you can get 20, 25, 30% off, that kind of thing, and you'll save a good amount of money compared to the traditional new versions of the same computer. So the one I purchased here is an Inspiron 3880. Uh, this one came with an Intel Core i5 processor. It's a 10th generation, uh, six cores up to 4.30 gigahertz, 12 megabyte cache, 65 watt processor. Uh, it does have Windows 10 Home. We have two hard drives in this. So we have one terabyte uh, SATA hard drive running at 7200 RPM, as well as a 256 gig PCIe M.2 NVMe drive. This also has 12 gigs of DDR4 RAM, it is uh, 2933 megahertz, and it comes with one 8 gig stick and one 4 gig stick. And of course, it does have Intel integrated graphics because at this price, you're not going to get a graphics card most of the time. So the price I paid on this was $476, and uh, well, plus tax. And uh, basically, what I do is uh, every couple years, I upgrade my work desktop. Not that it really needs to be upgraded, but you know, every couple years I like to just uh, sell the other one and get a new one and, and so on. So this will be the third Dell desktop that I've purchased from them. So the previous one, I'll definitely show you a comparison to it. And that one I got in 2018 and I paid about 385 plus tax on that one. Anyway, without further ado, let's go ahead and see what's in the box. Here is everything out of the box. So what we of course get is uh, we do get the desktop itself. We get our wired mouse as well as a wired keyboard and a power adapter. And then of course a warranty, safety, and regulatory information guide, which is very, very short. And just to give you a quick look at the keyboard here, we do have a full size keyboard. This is a pretty light keyboard. It is wired, so not wireless. Um, you can purchase a wireless one in, um, in your cart once you add it, if you want to. But um, overall, it's a pretty nice keyboard. It has pretty decent travel travel on it. You can see the keys are raised just a bit above. So, and it is very, very quiet also. So not too loud or anything like that. You do have some media controls right here. So you have some volume controls right there. And then you have the search, fast forward, and play and pause right there. And a sleep key and a lock key right there, which is nice. And then our wired keyboard or wired mouse right here. It's just a pretty simple optical mouse. Scrolling is pretty all right, but of course, you know, you can always replace these things if you don't want to use them. But, um, and you also have options of different ones you can order along with it when you purchase the computer uh, from Dell LA. All right, so I have everything plugged in here. I do have a monitor plugged in here. And of course, this is not my regular setup, so this is just temporary, but I wanted to show you guys the setup process with this. So you do have everything plugged in. So you have the keyboard, mouse, all that plugged in, monitor plugged in. And we're gonna go ahead and turn it on and go through the setup process here and just see what we get on the computer here. All right, so here we are at our first screen here. So it says, let's start with the region. So let's go ahead and do that. Asking for the keyboard, which is the United States. So yes. Do you want to add in the layout? We're going to skip that. Now it's going to ask me to connect to a network. And as you can see, it does have a Wi-Fi card in here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and skip this because I just want to go ahead and get through the setup so we can actually show you what's on the computer. Now it's asking, uh, it says there's more to discover when you connect to the internet. So of course it's offering the advanced security and privacy, free access to Office Online, as well as unlocking the best Windows 10 features. That's fine, we're gonna continue with limited Windows 10 setup. Now we come up to the Windows 10 license agreement here. And if you wanna read that, you can, uh, but it is a lot. So you're getting not only the Windows setup here, but you're also getting the Dell one as well. So this is a Dell image that they have on here. All right, it's gonna ask you who's using the PC. Uh, we're just gonna say Ian, click next. Password, we'll skip that. And now it's asking you to choose your privacy settings for the device. So of course you can go in here and uh, click yes or no to these if you want to, uh, but we'll go ahead and leave all these for right now as we're gonna be, I'm gonna reset this later after this video. All right, it's gonna ask let's cor let Cortana help you with getting things done and you can, add, you can accept or say not now. So we'll go ahead and hit not now. All right, and then it wants you to, um, Configure your support, protection, and communication services. Let's see if it'll let me skip that. I don't think it will. Yes, it will. Okay. My information is correct. That's fine. All right. And then now it's going into the, hi, we're getting everything set up for you. So that'll just take a moment. All right. 
here we are at the desktop here. So. Um, of course, we have the traditional Dell uh, background here. I don't have this connected to the internet, so let's see what version of Windows we get with this. So if we go to Start and Settings, we'll go to About Here, and then we can see here that we are on the latest version, so 20H2. Uh, it was installed on January 16th, 2021, which is today, so uh, 19042.508. So there we go. Here's our specs here, of course. So as I mentioned previously, it is a Core i5-10400 at 2.9, a max of 4.3, uh, 12 gigs of RAM here, and no graphics card at all here. Uh, so let's see what's included here as far as our programs are concerned here. So of course we get all our Windows traditional applications here. We get Dell Cinema Guide, Dell Customer Connect, Dell Digital Delivery, Dell Mobile Connect, Dell Update, Dropbox Promotion, we get Excel, Feedback Hub, uh, Intel Graphics Command Center, Optane Memory and Storage, Mail Maps, Max Audio by Waves, Max Audio Pro, McAfee, McAfee Personal Security, Media Suite Essentials for Dell, Media Suite Essentials, we have uh, Solitaire, Microsoft Store, Mixed Reality, Movies and TV, My Dell, we do have Office, we have Power Media Player for Dell, Power to Go Byte for Dell, Power Director for Dell, uh, Smart Byte, Support Assist, Windows accessories and all that good stuff. So not a whole lot of bloat, which is good. Um, but you know, McAfee and stuff like that, I don't really care for. But if you need antivirus, you can use that. Let's see how much space is used here. So of course we have our 256 gig drive, which they're using for the operating system. And then they have the other drive for data, which is pretty interesting. And as you can see, we have 176 gigs free of about 218. So formatted, it has uh, just 218 out of that 256. Um, but then you have the full, you know, 931 after it's formatted from one terabyte. So you do have quite a bit of space, which is nice. And uh, let's just see what else we get here as far as wallpapers are concerned and stuff like that. All right, so we just get that one Dell wallpaper, and then it looks like the rest of them are just Windows wallpapers. So nothing crazy there. Um, so that's pretty good. So it's nice to see when uh, PC manufacturers don't include a bunch of garbage. I mean, there is a little bit of garbage in here, but it's not too bad. And then we'll see what we're running out here in the task manager as far as our performance real quick. Yeah, so not too bad. And again, that 12 gigs of RAM. So I don't know about you, but I like I like to have a little bit more than eight gigs of RAM. Um, I think that's better to have, but if you're only doing um, you know basic tasks with your computer, you may not need it. But also I wanted to go for this NVMe SSD because it's very, very quick. So as you can see, everything loads really, really fast, which is what I wanted, so connected to the internet and what I want to do is just check to see what the speed of the Wi-Fi is with this now of course that's gonna vary uh, based on a lot of variables but um, I want to see how fast this actual Wi-Fi card is so I get 300 megabytes down and 300 megabytes up I am right near uh, one of my Google Wi-Fi uh, routers here so let's go ahead and check it out here it does say includes a very fast Wi-Fi adapter and we'll see if that's actually true So it's doing okay, but not great. 80 down, but uh, of course, again, I'm right next to one. And 73, about 73 upload all right and then we'll just show you on the on this iphone here so this is also on the same network right next to the other one and we'll see how how good this one does okay so maybe it's just the internet then all right so it does fine then it must be internet in my house so yeah next thing i wanted to test here is the cpu benchmark with geekbench so we have geekbench 5 loaded up here we have all our specs listed out so let's go ahead and see what our cpu benchmark is for this computer okay and our score on this is uh the single core score we have is 1177 and we have a multi-core score of 5703 so of course nothing crazy nothing uh, to write home about uh, but still pretty good performance and of course this is going to be used for basic tasks for me so i'm pretty happy with that and it is faster than the seventh generation uh, that i have currently all right and here is my old desktop next to the new one just wanted to give you a quick um just comparison between the two so this is a uh, inspiron 3668 
So I purchased this again in 2018. It's a 2017 model. Has a Core i7, or I'm sorry, Core i5 7th generation. And as you can see, it's a little bit taller than this one. These are both pretty small desktops. Uh, obviously not the smallest form factor you can buy, but this one does have a piano black finish on the front, uh, while this one has this kind of interesting line pattern on the front. Now, as you can see, we have we do have the CD drive here. Uh, in later models of this, they did change this to uh, back to this uh, this kind like here, but it was still shiny. And um, you can see we have kind of vents down here at the bottom. We do have two uh, USB 3s up front here, unlike this one where we have four on the front. Uh, but this one, you have the power button, activity light, we have the SD card slot, have the headphone jack, and then the two USB ports right there. Here's a quick comparison of the back. So on the old one here, on the 3668, you can see we have a couple different options for our headphones. We have the microphone, we have the audio, and then another jack here. Uh, we have VGA, HDMI, we have four USB 2.0 ports, Ethernet right there, and then power supply down here. And then on this one, we have, again, just the um, headphone jack for speakers right there, HDMI, VGA, two USB 3 and two USB 2, and Ethernet right there, as well as our power supply there. So as you can see, the power supply is pretty similar. Um, the only real difference here is you can see that this one is taller while this one's a little bit shorter. Okay, so it's just a quick look at the Inspiron 3880, the Dell outlet refurbished version here. So of course it looks just like brand new. There's not a scratch on it. Now of course they do sell scratch and dent where you would possibly have a scratch or dent, but um, it is actually in brand new condition and uh, everything works just as it should. So hopefully this quick video kind of gave you an idea of what you might get if you decide to purchase one from Dell Outlet. Um, they are warranty just like a new computer, so you do have a one-year warranty. You can also add another warranty. And uh, overall, I've been very happy with my Dell computers for the past couple of years, so that's why I continue to buy one. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video on this. Uh, if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. And uh, if you liked the video, hit that like button. If you guys want to see more like this, consider subscribing, and I'll see you guys in the next video.